It has happened again. You have heard it. That noise is the confirmation of another merger between two black holes. This is Monterey. Welcome to my cosmic kingdom. A few months ago, um, around fe February, we shared this episode, you can click here to see it, um, about the um, discoverment of uh, gravitational waves done by, by this interferometer in called LIGO in the United States. Well, it's actually two interferometers separated like 3,000 kilometers away. So yesterday, there was this paper published in Astrophysical Review Letters where they claim they have discovered another merger between two black holes. And this is incredible. Why? Well, for several reasons. First of all is, okay, it seems that this interferometer is working and we are just starting to detect more sources. We are starting to detect more events happening out there. First detection, um, I don't think anyone doubted that it was a true detection because they perform a statistical set of tests that really, really make it very improbable that it was like some noise or or something different from what uh, from the merger of two black holes. But it might have been the case that we were in a special position or just in the exact time at the exact moment at the exact place. Well, it's not. We have discovered again merger between two black holes. And that opens a new window, as we said in the episode, a new window to the cosmos. We've been observing everything using light from invisible light, X rays, or radio waves. But it's just photons coming to our detectors. In this case, we are using gravitational waves. And the fact that in such a short period of time we have detected two of these events um, make them very probable. And these are very particular events, just two black holes spinning around merging. But there can be a whole family of different causes from gravitational waves waiting for us to observe them. And the fact that LIGO is going to be improved and its sensitivity is going to be um, enhanced by 27, I think Kip Thorne said that on the press release. And, and there are going to be more interferometers all around the world, in India and in, in Europe, in Italy. And they all can work together and increase the sensitivity m much, um, uh, much more. And there, of course, there is LISA that is going to be in space and that is going to be ultra sensible to these kinds of events. So today it's a very good day for science. Uh, we are just on the verge of a scientific revolution. Um, and as so, we are still not really aware of how important this is. But I'm sure that this new window open to the universe will help us explaining even the big questions we, we will give us better insights about how the universe was formed and how the universe is going to evolve so i'm really happy uh, today thank you for following me uh make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you like this this video click on a like and i'm waiting for your comments and um suggestions and see you next week guys bye bye